What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel and the 21 Chevrolet Silverado. Oh, she is looking good. So today we're gonna go over the top five mods that you can do to a 19 and up. Actually, could be any Silverado, but uh, this is gonna be catered towards 19 and up Silverados with a V8. Got the Dago mud hole, got the mountain. Mmm, let's get to it. So these top five mods are in no particular order. And also I'm gonna avoid the obvious top five. You'll watch top five videos where like, you need wheels, tires, exhaust, and a lift kit. Like, and it would tint your windows, it's pretty easy. Um, these are gonna be top five mods that aren't that typical uh, that I would recommend. And let's start with number one. Number one, this one does not only apply to 19 and up. If your truck has the six speed uh, and the eight speed, I believe, uh, the thermostat delete on the transmission the superior transmission parts i have a video on it that is my number one recommendation it cools the transmission off it gets rid of that stupid thermostat there is a service bulletin for these trucks to put a new thermostat in that opens at 158 instead of 190 uh, so you can go that right at the dealership or you can just fall and delete it because these trucks do have pretty decent coolers from the factory so that is number one the superior transmission parts thermostat delete for the 6L80 and 8L90, I don't know what the eight speed, I think that is it. Um, but the six speed and eight speeds, I believe, um, huge. Number one, if you got that transmission. Moving on to number two here, we're gonna go with the range technology AFM to DFM disabler. So if you have a 5.3 or 6.2, um, if you weren't lucky enough to get one that had this taken out during the chip shortage, uh, definitely get rid of this system. You can tune it out with the tuner or for 200 bucks, you can get the range technology chip. I've been over this numerous times, but this thing is freaking sweet. So if somehow you have no idea what I'm talking about. These trucks, the V8s have um, active fuel management or dynamic fuel management, meaning it'll kick out of eight cylinders into four or if DFM as little as two. Anyway, all you have to do is get this chip here and you're good to go. It'll disable it and make your truck run a lot better. So that little OBD2 port chip uh, is warranty safe and it'll make your truck run in a V8 all the time and could potentially save your motor from uh, the lifter issues, collapse lifters, bent push rods, all that stuff. Not guaranteed, but my truck has 25,000 miles on it. It's been in there since day one um, and I haven't had any issues yet. So um, potentially could save your motor, makes the truck run better. And you bought a truck for a V8, come on, you don't want a four cylinder. All right, moving on to number three. If you have a custom, this is super applicable. Otherwise, there's a couple other things you can do, but it's last bit LED lights uh, for your truck. So custom obviously comes with halogens. So in my truck, I have the last fit LED high beams, low beams, turn signals, and reverse lights. And uh, let's check them out. So there we are. Obviously these aren't applicable if you have a higher trim than a custom. So pretty much any other trim, but we can see high beams, low beams, turn signals, 10% off in the description below. They have a bunch of products. And even if you don't have a custom, uh, there's a couple things that you can do. So if you have an LT or LTZ or whatever the hell else, um, you can do the turn signals. The turn signals are not LED from the factory, so you can toss those in, they're pretty cheap. And additionally, um, I would recommend this on any truck. Get the reverse lights. Even if it's not a Chevy, they make them for a bunch, uh, but LED, see them in there led reverse lights these things are stupid bright especially especially at nighttime um make it super great for backing up so if your truck doesn't have those last fit led reverse lights link down below so the next one on the list i've gone over these a handful of times super simple mod is the cup holder hero inserts so uh, obviously these blue inserts are not factory they go everywhere in the truck uh, we can see in the door there try and get the camera out of there the shadow uh, anyway super simple and uh they're on the top list primary reason they're up there they add a splash of interior color you can get these in blue green red and gray i believe uh they may have added more colors as of now but they add a splash of you know color and personalization to the interior of the truck well the door's over there uh, but you know all the door panels have them additionally they're super easy to remove this is the cup holder one uh, you can just pull them out wipe them down spray them down put them in the sink whatever you want and just pop them back in so simple this isn't something that people would really think of so i'm trying to be outside the box uh, with top mods for your truck and finally this is probably one that everyone knows but it's going to be an exhaust but what i'm going to mention here in terms of that is a muffler delete on these trucks a muffler delete makes it sound pretty dang good and these trucks are dead silent from uh from stock so get rid of that flapper valve 
get rid of the muffler. It's like a hundred bucks. It's the cheapest thing you can do. And these trucks sound freaking sweet. So she is warm right now, but this is the sound. So with a simple $100, you can make your truck sound way better than it does stock. And I know that is in the, you know, lift kit, wheels, tires, et cetera kind of thing, but just a muffler delete. You can buy kits for like 20 bucks and do it yourself. If you cut it and clamp it on to get mine welded in, it was a hundred bucks. So well worth it. Top, probably top thing that I would do to any truck, at least make it sound like something instead of a darn Prius. Now this was a top five video, but since number five was pretty generic with the uh, muffler delete, I know everyone already thinks of that. I'm gonna give you two extra bonus ones. So the first bonus is get rid of that stupid giant antenna. Who uses the radio anymore? I don't for sure. Uh, either 50 cal, you can get just shorties, but replace that antenna, get something cool. Um, I've been running the 50 cal in my trucks for the last three years. And bonus number two, if you want some extra personalization on your truck, you want old glory back there, you want camo, you want carbon fiber, you want old glory but black and white, whatever you want. You want color matched? I don't know. Uh, tailgate letter insert. So I put these on. I've, I've liked them since the day I put them on. Get some uh, America back there, baby. Um, I like those. You can get all sorts. You can find them on Amazon. They're super cheap, but you can put red ones, black ones, chrome ones, pretty much any color you want, any style you want. So... That's the bonus number two. So back on the windshield you go. Y'all love the uh, outside stabilized footage called the uh, roller coaster or video game cam. So we're going to go back up there, finish off the drive, get back down to some pavement. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all in the next one.